Hello, ladies and gentlemen. You wanted to see pain. You wanted to smell blood. You wanted to look death in the face while eating hot dogs and drinking various alcoholic beverages. Well, what the public wants, the public gets. Here it is, back by popular demand. It's Carnage. Hello, fellow gaming lovers. Welcome to our Kickstarter promotional video. I'm Simon Keating, the lead developer of Carnage Live, an arcade gore fest which puts you in an arena of bloodthirsty spectators where hacking off limbs and throwing them into the crowd is respected and expected behaviour. It's all pain and no gain! Do you remember those classic old school top-down games like Super Smash TV? Well, our mission is to bring that playability back to you with a modern feel and ten times the depraved madness. Sound good so far? Yeah. Our Carnage game show is set in the near future where cloning has become an accepted practice. Now, this one TV show operates on the interim of the law, pitting these clones against each other in some kind of brutal conflict. You get to harness weapons, crazy booby traps, these ferocious power-ups, and it all comes together into a bloodbath of mentalness. You need to gain glory, satisfy the audience, but most importantly of all, earn a massive wedge of cash. Oh, thanks. And stay Right, down to business. We started with a single player prototype which was a kind of proof of concept. We enjoyed playing it so much that it was pretty clear that the formula still deserved a place at the table. I mean with all the first person and third person games out there it's so refreshing to jump back into a more kind of arcade gameplay style. Apart from a load of weapons we started thinking of death traps and power ups too. So we threw in a saw blade which is activated by a push button and decapitates anyone running past. And then we also decided to chuck in a super power up, in this case the Reaper himself, and found it immensely fun to charge after fleeing AI bots and scythe them. We showed neither compassion for our enemies nor consideration for the arena cleaner Bert. Then during a particular bout of crazed self commentary along the lines of We decided to add a commentator and also create a killer crowd atmosphere. This lifted everything and gave it context. And now we're proud to say Randy McBain, an over-enthusiastic, medically insane combat veteran with the bloodlust of a giant ravenous tick, is here to stay. I think I got a bit of him in my eye, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so here's where we are at the moment. All the graphics are temporary placeholders, but if we get some Kickstarter funding, then we'll be able to make some cool kick-ass characters like this. Uh, we'll be able to make some awesome industrial eye candy, and basically make the game look good. At the moment, our artists can't even afford to feed themselves, so if you give us some money, then they may actually do some work. We started by putting together a level editor, which allows us to quickly create levels from ready-made prefabricated rooms. Then add walls, weapons, spawn points, death traps, power-ups, etc. Then we can jump in and start killing stuff straight away. As you can see, the interface is still a temporary one, as are all the graphics and the room prefabs you're looking at, but the finished editor will be available with the game. You'll easily be able to knock your own levels together in just a few minutes, and we think that's a pretty epic feature. So no more playing levels to death and waiting for an expansion pack. Unlimited levels are at your fingertips. There's no modding knowledge required, just access it from the game menu and build your own arena of death in minutes. I made this one. So, then we moved on to game mechanics. We implemented three of the key guns from the prototype to give us something to play with. A full list of weapons should be scrolling down your screen now. We got the obligatory assault rifle in there, then a grenade launcher to test explosions, and also the flamethrower because we really like setting stuff on fire. That's enough for that. We implemented Nvidia physics, including ragdolls and stuff like exploding barrels and crates. And then we started working on a detailed gore system. You can blow off arms, legs, heads, leave bullet holes and burns on people and basically create a real mess. Expect all these features to be pushed much further once they leave the prototyping stage. 
Then we decided our flamethrower needed to actually set stuff on fire, so we started working on a system whereby objects can be flammable, including players, and fire can spread. So with a weapon capable of producing fire, you can ignite crates, fuel barrels, people, and create infernos. After that, we knocked together some prototype death traps to see the scrolling list for others that we're going to build. We made a spiked crushing room to juice your enemies with, a toxic waste pit with floors that drop away, and a saw blade that comes out of the ground and chases you along the room at groin height. Currently, these are all triggered by a laser tripwire, but we'll have more trigger mechanisms too. And as I keep stressing, these are prototypes. Expect the final traps to look sickeningly evil. And now a word from the management. Hi, Rick Vanner here, producer here at The Game Creators. Carnage is a game that I've always wanted to see professionally built, ever since I saw a demo of it in our TGC forums. With your help, we can bring the game to full completion and make it amazing. If we raise the funds we need, we can go all the way and put everything in. We can't wait to get fragging in the arena, so we hope you will help us make Carnage a gruesome reality. What a guy. So you still with me? Okay, so now I have to try and get across to you the awesomeness of our final vision for the game. Uh, Gameplay is our absolute number one priority, so you can expect to see game modes that you played before like Deathmatch, Team Deathmatch, Capture the Flag, Base Assault, but we'll also be getting some new game modes in there that you've not played before to really enhance that game show feel. We've got Ninja Assassins. Ninjas versus soldiers in a dark arena. Ninjas can see in the dark and run about hacking down soldiers with katanas and death stars, while soldiers can only see a small area of light around them, but obviously have more powerful weaponry. And then there's... Enforcer, an all against one mode where the player takes on the role of a kind of cop-like figure. He has to take down an arena full of thugs. Meanwhile, they'll be trying to kill him, and he can move super fast. But when finally he gets killed, the players get to become the enforcer themselves. And we've got other game modes too. And we've also got crazy power-ups like invisibility, super strength, teleportation, uh, holograms, total recall style. And you could even be the reaper. In fact, why don't you just read the list that's scrolling, I don't know where, it's gonna be scrolling there or there, just read that. We've got single player, league and tournament style modes with a fun and progressive reward system. And we've, of course, we've also got the 16 player online battles. Uh, on top of that, we've got crazy arena atmospherics with amazing special moves where you can even pick up a seven head and drop kick it into the grandstand, which of course is ultra cool. And we also have um, our amazing commentator, Randy McBain, the complete mentalist. Well, thanks for watching our Kickstarter promotional video. I hope you can see potential in our project. Uh, we're really passionate about it. We really want to get it made. We can't wait to start smashing each other over the head with <laughs> arms and seven heads and legs and all that kind of thing. So uh, please look past any of the temporary visuals. We know they're all a bit ropey at the moment, but that's where most of the money's going to go. So thanks very much for watching, and we hope to see you on a Carnage Live server in the near future. Cheers. <laughs> Come on, Kickstarters, please back this awesome project and show us you ain't chicken. <laughs>